Hey everybody, do you have an older car like this with a lift gate that's maybe getting a little bit tired and not really opening by itself anymore and once it's open it doesn't stay open either? Well these can be a little dangerous, they might close and bonk you on the head, so in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to replace the struts that hold up your lift gate. It starts by getting the right parts. You'll need to know the year, make, and model of your vehicle because liftgate struts come in a variety of shapes and sizes. With that information though, you can visit your local auto parts store and tell them what you're looking for. More than likely, they'll have exactly what you need right on the shelf. If they don't, you can always shop online and again, you'll need to put in the year, the make, and the model and double check to make sure that the struts that you order are a fit for your vehicle. And then you just need to wait a few days for your box to arrive. Let's get started. The only tool you're going to need for this job is a flathead screwdriver like this. Notice that this one's a pretty thin blade. This is a standard flathead screwdriver. It's a little bit wider. We're going to use the thinner one because it fits a little bit better inside the clips that we're going to need to disconnect. Now, if you're working alone like I am today, you're going to need to be a little bit careful because you'll only have one hand available to do the work because the other hand's going to have to hold up the lift gate. Alternatively, if you bring the lift gate down, you can probably support it with your head just fine while you do this job. So I'll get you in here real close to see how this is done on the other side. I'm just going to hurry and do this side while I've got the lift gate supported on my head. But you can see it's really a fast and easy job. You use that screwdriver to release the clips and then pop the clips from the new strut on. And look at that. It stays up by itself just with the one replaced. I'll get you in close and we'll do the other one together. This is the lower connection for the liftgate strut. And as you can see, there's a little slot here you can put your screwdriver into and then rotate it and pry this little metal band out till it comes and holds itself out away. That's gonna release this so that you can pull this out from the car. Don't do that yet though. Let's go release the band at the top of the liftgate first. The top of the liftgate is very similar to the bottom. Again, there's a little slot here. You can get your screwdriver in and twist it to pry that metal band out. All right, with the clips released, we're now ready to replace this strut. But before you do it, quick word of caution, even though these struts are old and tired, they are still helping to hold up this door that's right above my head. So as soon as I pull this strut out, this door might try and come down on me. So I'm gonna stand under the door and hold it up with one hand. While I support it with one hand, I'm actually gonna push up a little bit to remove the tension off of this strut. It just pulls right off of those little mounting balls that it's on. And the new strut just clips right in. You don't need to adjust anything. You don't need to release any clips. Just pull it onto that ball, both at the top and at the bottom, and we're done. All right, with both struts replaced, let's try it out and see how well it works now. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video or learned a little something, you can tell me by uh, hitting that thumbs up button down below. If there's something I've done that was completely stupid or brain dumb, Brain dumb? Is that even a word? Brain dead is what I meant to say. You can tell me about that down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, of course, you can think about subscribing, but there's never any pressure there from me. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And then all you need to do is wait just a couple of days for your box to arrive. Mine's here. And then you just need to wait a couple of days for your box to arrive. Let's get started. And then you just need to wait a couple of days for your box to arrive. Let's get started. And then you just need to wait a couple of days for your box to arrive. Airmail. 